It is so amazing to walk around this teeny town, the northernmost capital city in the entire world. So in true Jeff and I style, we know nothing about Greenland. We've been told we have to wear survival suits. Ah! It's so surreal to be like literally facing an iceberg. Ah! Welcome to What Doesn't Suck. This is 48 Hours in Greenland. There is quite simply no other capital city as picturesque as Little Nook. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the world are these guys going to Greenland? I promise, after you watch this video, you'll know why. And I'm so, so excited to discover Greenland. I cannot believe that we actually are in Greenland. It's just so crazy. We've got two days. We're gonna do every single thing we possibly can to explore all the nature in this magical, magical country. We've been waiting for so long to breathe this fresh, crisp air. It is the best. We just came here because, you know, it's always been kind of a bucket list material. So what do we know about Greenland? To be honest, not too much. Do you guys know how big Greenland is? An ice sheet the size of Western Europe covering 85% of the entire country. It is the country of Inuits, uh, polar bears, our 35th country together and what are we doing this morning love we're going on a hike it's a 761 meter peak i have no idea what we're getting ourselves into you know that we tend to do really stupid things to prove that anybody can do anything so if we can go hike this mountain anybody can do this we are finally back exploring the nature it is so incredible the air is so crisp this is probably the cleanest air we have breathed in a very very long time these hikers in front of us look like actual hikers so we're following them I hope they don't notice we're stalking them. One thing for sure, Greenland will definitely make you feel way cooler than you are. The scenery around here is so epic. I feel like an actual outdoorsman. You laugh at me? Greenland is more Game of Thrones than Game of Thrones. Stark von Lannister. Stark von Lannister. Oh my god, do you know what time it is? What? It's dance time. We are normal. Hey, Jeffrey. Love, I forgot how cold cold can be. My chin is frozen, that's why I speak weird. <laughs> we have fallen in love with hiking and it is the first thing we look to do anywhere we arrive. It's raining, my hands are frozen, and to some people that would be hell, but I find it weirdly enjoyable. We're happy in the rain. My hands don't work. <laughs> Any city that has a bus that costs $2 is awesome. Just jump on the bus and go to Kugula, Kugula Black. Greenland truly feels like one of the last unexplored areas in the entire world. There's so many things to do in Greenland. You can go hiking, you can go fishing, you can go snowshoeing, you can go on boats and do all sorts of fjords. This little town will give you a great idea of Greenlandic culture and what this amazing little Arctic nation is all about. Greenland is one of these very few countries that are left that are really focused around nature and humans. So it's so cool to be here and experience life. Well, that was interesting. We learned a ton of things about Greenland and Greenlandic people and Inuit culture. I thought the Vikings were hardcore. The Inuits take it to a whole different level. To see everything that all the Inuit went through, it's really fascinating to see how this incredible island nation has changed over the years. We're about to take our life into our own hands. <laughs> we're going on a boat tour and we're gonna fish on dinner. I am notoriously a horrific fisherman. I brought some snacks in case we don't catch anything. It's not your regular fishing trip. We have to put on full body Suit. <laughs> I can barely reach my feet. Love, if you can't get in the suit, we're gonna have problems catching our dinner. Love, what are you doing? I'm bringing sexy back. Oh god, you might be the reason why sexy left in the first place. If we wanna eat, we gotta catch it. Are you worried? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you concentrating. Hello. Yeah, the water is 64 meters deep here. Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah. ah. Let's go fishing. Just a nice, relaxing, sunny day in Greenland. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Let's Bring see it the beast. There he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. This is the first fish I've caught since my seventh birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> This little settlement is the most remote place I've ever been in the world. We're about to have the most fresh seafood dinner we've ever had. Now, time for dinner. 
this will go down as the most remote place we've ever been, the most remote meal, and the most remote beer. It was seriously so fresh. We caught it, they cooked it, and we ate it. <sighs> it is time for us to get back on our little boat, head back to Nook, and get ready for more adventures tomorrow, our last day. You have not seen Epic until you've gone on a boat trip in Greenland. Look at this. This yeah. iceberg is so huge. And imagine that it's just, the, you know, the portion that's above the water, there's so much more. I have never seen anything like this. It's like looking at a piece of art. So surreal to be like literally facing an iceberg. But it's so sad to think this is breaking off of a gigantic glacier. And if all this melts, we're in big trouble. I cannot believe we're in the Arctic looking at a waterfall right now. I'm speechless. If you come to Greenland, you have to get out there and explore. It is incredible to see these icebergs. So here's a not so fun fact about Greenland. The Greenlandic ice sheet holds 7% of the world's fresh water. And if it melts, it would result in a sea level rise of seven meters. Anytime you can go and explore nature this incredible and untouched, it is always, always worth it. Who's ready to go hiking? It is our last few hours in Greenland, so we've jumped back up into the mountains to enjoy one more beautiful silent hike. We're just throwing the dots and hoping for the best. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet dance move, bro. What? No. Oh, are you trying to floss? You're way too old for that. There are absolutely no road connecting the cities in Greenland. The only way to get between city to city is by plane, helicopter, or boat. But honestly, it's here in the wild, it's just, just awesome. I did not think there'd be so much to do in Greenland. We would have to plan an entire separate trip back in the winter. Greenland has been absolutely incredible. We knew it was gonna be epic, but we had no idea how much. All the way to Copenhagen. Thank you. So, if we can do all of this in just two days. Imagine what you can do in a week. <laughs>